What's going on, guys? Ollie here, and in today's video, <laughs> we're not doing anything. Uh, it's just gonna be a chill video today, you know. <sighs> Sometimes my heart just gets me too excited, or whatever. Not sponsored, by the way. Um, but so, yeah. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope this brightens your quarantine at least, like, a little bit. So it goes from a dim room to a slightly brighter room. You know, but... You know how it is sometimes. Uh, you just need to go on a vacation. And a little bit of a backstory to this to this, uh, story, <laughs> backstory to the story, is that, um, so, my cousin Chris, he doesn't get a shout out, just, my cousin Chris, he, uh, went down to Texas for, like, six weeks or something, got a perm, did not look good, if you're thinking about getting a perm, uh, my recommendation is just don't, <laughs> but, so, anyway, he, got a perm down there it's really sad actually changed his life I'm just kidding but he got a perm which has nothing to do with the story I just thought it was funny at the time uh, but so my uncle was like I'm the best dad ever I'm such a great dad Chris is down in Texas he's having a great time keeps him what are you doing keeps him busy for the summer at least a little bit or whatever sound just like that actually um but so uh i looked at my dad my dad looked at me we both knew it was a trap but we fell for it anyway and about a week and a half ish later i went down to texas and visited my family uh so <laughs> how it was originally supposed to work was that I was going to get picked up by my cousin De Dalen, who is 17, maybe he's 18 now, I don't think so though, but at the time he was 17, because this was last year, and I was 13, so I was a minor, and I had to fly, and I flew by myself, which means that somebody over the age of 18 has to pick me up and has to be related to me, or something like that, I can't really remember, but the next flight back to wherever I flew out of, nobody knows um was about to depart and the person looking after me is like alright fine I'm gonna take you to the place they basically handed football reference me off to the other <laughs> to the other person who took me to the lost and found the lost and found of all places is where they keep the kids who didn't get picked up before their flight back was going to depart. So I went in the lost and found for like 30 minutes. Dalen was literally on the other side, <laughs> other side of the drop off zone, but couldn't, they couldn't legally put me over there for whatever reason. And so my uncle freaking got there like the flash, freaking Barry Allen his way. He's like, Phew. you know what? So anyway, he showed up and thankfully, like in 30 minutes or something I met him gave him a hug he's like why don't you just run and I'm like freaking this might be really offensive but I'm gonna say it anyway Snorlax the Pokemon <laughs> was guarding the door and I you know didn't want to get freaking crunched so I so I met with Dalen we went got Chick-fil-A Literally, if you've never had Chick-fil-A, I'm sorry. It's like heaven in your mouth, bro. Everybody there is so nice. And it that is the place where probably the best clip or the best thing ever has happened where the guy's like, so I was at Chick-fil-A and this guy said a bad word. And I was like, there's three places you don't cuss. Your grandma's house, church, and Chick-fil-A. It was. It's a really funny clip. If you haven't seen it, ten out of ten. Do recommend. But so, uh, yeah, we got home. It was like eight thirty-ish there. 
in 6.30 there, met Crit, saw Chris, met up with uh, my other cousin Victoria, shout out to Victoria, and uh, my cousin-in-law, Devin. Not to be confused with Uncle Devin, though. And at the time, I was super, sorry, I'm getting a little thirsty, super into training for my cross country, even though I didn't train at all that summer. No one saw that. So, yeah, whatever. So I think maybe it was like either the next day or something like that that we went on a run. It was super fun. They have an amazing dog, uh, Dallas. The dog's name is Dallas, and it's she's literally the best dog. Or not the best dog. I mean, my dogs are so well-trained. I mean, they don't even... She doesn't even... I'm just kidding. But... Dallas is like the best dog ever. I love Dallas. Dallas was like 10 out of 10 on the dog review. But anyway, so I think I flew in on like a Friday. I flew in on a Friday. Buddy, what are you doing? Um, and uh, so I hung out with Chris and Damon. Woke up at like 12 woke up at like sometime super late later than I usually do and <laughs> my bull. and so uh it, yeah woke up late awesome pancakes because my uncle Devin and my cousin Dalen uh like that whole family down there is like really into church I guess is what I would say they're super into church. What are you doing, Bodie? Super into church, which is fine, you know. Uh, I had a lot of fun going to church, like, every day for some reason. I don't know why. I just had a great, I just had a blast down there. So, hung out with Chris and Dalen pretty much until Chris woke up at, like, 2 in the afternoon. We played cribbage, which is, like, uh, our grandpa taught us how to play. And it's a super fun game. I mean, yeah. So anyway, we didn't really do anything that day except for play video games. I don't think. I can't really remember. But so, uh, Chris, so that was pretty much how the next two days, I think, went. I can't remember. Oh, no. Because then Saturday, came in on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I went on a run with, uh, Victoria and my cousin-in-law Devin, which if you've ever tried to run in water It's like that except for imagine your lungs were running in water Because there's so much humidity down there that it's just hard to breathe if you're not uh, you know Used to it, which I wasn't so I was like <laughs> I was like the, I think the worst pace I had that year or something like that. It was insane but that was fun. We swam in the man-made lake there. Uh, Dallas was just a freaking nutball. It was awesome. I, I just love spending time with, you know, my family and stuff. And eventually, eventually, uh, yeah, we came home. And then church was that night. Or was that morning we went before church and I was super sweaty so I didn't go and I didn't want to, you know, stink I didn't want to stinky stink up the place but, so they go to church like three times a week or something like that I was like, that's a little much for me so I went there like three times the whole time I was there but it was super fun so, so then uh, Monday, Tuesday we, me and Dalen just hung out around the house, pretty much, and, yeah. Yeah, buddy's, buddy's upstairs. And so, <laughs> it was just awesome. Uh, then Wednesday, we went to church at night, and <laughs> so it was just, you know, what you do at church. You just hang out, talk to people about your religion and stuff whatever religion you choose to be which is fine i don't really care 
whatever your preference is. And so, it's just, you know, just be you. But, the, <laughs> so, then we were on our way back. I think we freaking carpooled with Dalen, his girlfriend, uh, Bree, shout out to you, Bree. Um, her brother, uh, his friend, and me. They wanted, in the back seat, they wanted me to sit in the middle, and I was like, I'm not sitting in the middle. So, you know the saying, trapped between a rock and a hard place. I was trapped between a car door and two weird teenagers. But, we, uh, but then we, um, so on our way back, we stopped at, can't remember where, but they had really good chicken. This is actually really, really good chicken down south. If you, I, I don't know. It's just, there's a lot of good food in the world in general. But so, we had so much fun. Uh, someone compared me to the weird kid. I can't remember her name, but he, she compared me to freaking the uh, orphan who never got adopted in uh, the Little Robinsons, which I don't disagree because I was like, what? Back then, but now that I look back at it, I'm like, yeah, I did. Because I had long hair, super long hair just everywhere, super uh, shaggy. <laughs> That's a Scooby-Doo character. But so anyway, on our way back, we <laughs> um, we're at a red light, right? We go to take the turn and there's train tracks like right in front right to go to drop everybody off because we were carpooling and then we just see sirens freaking blue and red not making the color purple cringe and so my cousin pulls over and Bree is just freaking out and everybody like and then once the cop comes to the door, everybody's just silent. Dylan's like, uh, how's it going, sir? And he's like, good, good. Uh, you're, so whatever. There was something wrong with the license plate. Like, the sticker wasn't on there or whatever. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> and, um, and Dylan is like, oh, oh, sorry. He's like, license is registered. So they give him the license and registration, he runs it, and everybody's like super quiet and super like, you know, what you do when there's a cop. And so Dalen's like, yeah, we just came back from Milestone Church, which is the church we went to. And, <laughs> and so uh, the guy goes back, runs it, and while everybody's quiet, I just whisper, I'm like, or not whisper, I just go, a big cop moment and you know it probably isn't that funny but when you're super stressed out and somebody says something super dumb it's really funny so <laughs> the car just erupts with laughter uh, oh, but so you know it's whatever the cop comes back and he's like I appreciate your honesty and uh, I'm gonna let you off with the war with the warning this time, because Milestone has done a lot for me and my family. And Dalen, the pure excitement I see on Dalen's face from the mirror, the reflection, you know, just see the reflection of Dalen's face barely, and he's like trying to hold back his excitement. <laughs> and so then. Yeah, the cop goes back to his car. We drive off, he drives off, whatever. And everybody is just so excited that we got off with the warning. It was awesome. Um, yeah, and then we, I just kind of hung out for the rest of the two weeks. It was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with my family. Uh, yeah, if you like the story time uh, and you like my comment, remember to subscribe, like, turn on the post notifications if you don't pff, hashtag cringe um so yeah hope you enjoyed peace